So the next object that we're going to look at are called cylinders. Um, so the sort of the I guess question here to think about is well, what does an equation describe when we're in space, when we're in three dimensions, right? And and just as an example, think of think of an equation like x squared plus y squared equals four, right? Now we know what that is in two dimensions. In two dimensions, it's a circle, right? In two dimensions, we know that that is simply a circle of radius two centered at the origin. Right. Okay, but what about in three dimensions? The, the issue here is that that equation really says nothing about the z-coordinate. Right? And so the z-coordinate, if you like, it's, it's free, it's unconstrained. It can have any value that it wants. We still have the same constraint uh, with respect to the x and the y coordinates, they are still constrained so that this equation has to be satisfied. Uh, and so we have, if you like, in the sort of in the xy plane, we still have this circle, right? Passing now through the points 2, 0, 0, and 0, 2, 0. But we can take any point on this on this circle. And we can extend it um, in the z direction, right? Vertically, up or down, right? And we can, we can sort of do this, right? We can go through that point. We can go through there and down, through there, up and down, right? We can, we can do this for, for any point that we want. Um, and so, in fact, what we get in three dimensions from a single equation like this is not a curve, but a surface, right? Take a point on the back, we can extend that up and down as well, okay? And so we can, you know, pick any other z-coordinate we want, and we would have a corresponding circle, say, down there or up here, right? And so you can see where the, where the name cylinder would come from because you have this cylindrical shape, right? Um, like a Pringles tube or something like that. Um, so we, we have this shape. We can think of it taking that sort of circle and you just slide it up and down. You slide it along these, these vertical lines and you generate the surface, right? Um, now there, there's some, some terminology that you'll, you'll sometimes find here. Uh, these, the sort of initial curve that you use to generate the cylinder, um, this is sometimes called the, the directrix. These lines um, that you slide the directrix along, uh, these are called rulings. And you can actually do this with a curve in any plane with rulings that move in any direction that's not parallel to that plane. Uh, so you can and, and, and any curve. So you could start with something that, let's say, looks like, okay, we'll draw a three-dimensional coordinate system. We'll put in a, a plane. Um, now, I'm not going to try to figure out what the equation of this thing would be, but we could take some curve in that plane, something like that. Right? And we can draw lines through that curve, and we can take any sort of direction we want that is parallel not parallel to the plane, so it's something like this, for example. Right. And we can imagine that sort of curved surface there in, in space, this sort of trough shape. Right. Um, so we can, we can do this with any, any kind of plane curve. Typically, though, um, because we want to work with surfaces that we can describe relatively easily in terms of equations and also that we can attempt to sketch. Um, typically, we work with 
uh, cylinders where the directrix, that sort of curve that generates the cylinder, is going to lie in one of the coordinate planes, and the rulings are going to be parallel to one of the coordinate axes, just to, just to keep things simple. Right? Um, so we want to do one more uh, quick example. We could try something like, you know, well, take our, our classic sort of parabola, right? Um, easy enough to sketch in two dimensions, or at least we get very used to this curve, right? So in three dimensions, well, let's try to draw the directrix first, and it gets a little bit trickier to think about that. It's sort of like that. Imagine that sort of sitting in the, in the xy plane. And now we can draw the rulings passing through that curve. Right? So kind of going up. Well, that, I guess that should be, it's, draw, it's, it's not a perfect drawing. Imagine that that is the, the z-axis. So we, yeah. Sketching these things is, uh, is not an exact science. Right? But you can kind of imagine drawing a few of those and, and drawing a couple more of the cylinder shapes to sort of give that idea of, of what the surface looks like, right? Um, so we can, uh, we can think about cylinders as, you know, the classic tube-shaped cylinder, but also really any, any shape, any curve in the plane that you can draw, you can sort of slide it up and down along these rulings and it will generate a cylinder for you.